Okay, so uh, my name is Brandy Gist, and I teach basic skills here on campus. And my job is to take a skill and break it down to its most simple form, because my students need to start not here, but here, and turn it off. So um, as new technology comes out, it's my job to break it down and make sure that students have access to the new technology and become digitally illiterate. So um, especially with emerging trends, one of them is touchscreen technology. So first of all, if you think of touchscreen, where do you find it? Where do you find touchscreen technology? The In the hospital. Where else? The bank. The bank? Cell, phones. Cell phones. ATM? Hatcheries. Hatcheries. <laughs> Does anyone have a touchscreen refrigerator? Yes. OK. How about your car? Airport. Airport? Yeah, so it's a new trend, and it's going to continue. GPS, the keyboard is going out, touchscreen is replacing a lot of our daily functions. That's right. So this lesson introduces the iPad in the classroom where students have allocated lab time to learn, explore, and apply touchscreen technology. So we're take, once again taking something really simple. So as a class, um, put it out your finger please. <laughs> I'm going to teach you our first skill, and it's called swipe. This is swipe. Do we do it again? Swipe. Okay. Now take your first two fingers out, and this is called rotate. Rotate. Good. Okay, and I want you to take your two index fingers, put them inside. This is called pinch to zoom. Pinch to zoom. Okay. And the last skill, I like to call it flying, and it's when you're in Google Earth, and you take your two fingers out, you just raise it up, and you get an aerial view. That's where you can actually fly to a destination. So you have just learned the basic gestures of touchscreen technology. Yay! <laughs> you just did it. Great. So the next portion, I'd like you to find a partner. So partner up, please. You have about 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> So here's some worksheets, and you get to just share. I didn't make too many copies. So if you don't have one, just share. <laughs> Great. Um, so Jill, um, on the blue sheet, can you read objective number one? What's our first objective today? To practice silent reading of technical writing, synthesize information partner and demonstrate competencies from the reading. Excellent. So I want my students to learn how to read technical writing silently and not have me read it for them. Uh, Judy, can you read objective number two, please? To become familiar with iPad hardware functions and applications such as Google Earth, Safari, and others. Great. So those are our objectives today. What questions do you have before we move on? Okay, so go ahead and take your worksheets. I'm going to steal yours for a second. Um, I want you to take, I'll give you one minute since we're on film, to just browse these worksheets. These are basic technical writing of the hardware of your iPad. It's how to turn it on, what to do, where the buttons are. But in the back, you have the master gestures. Okay, so just take a minute and preview, and then I want you to talk to your partner about it. Okay? Go. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and share, and I'll walk around. And excuse my weird scan. Okay. I'm like, there's my tape. Yeah. Uh, no fingers yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people don't know about the sleep and wake, you know, and they're like, why is it up? <laughs> <laughs> and go ahead and look at the very last page. Here's your master gestures. So these sheets, um, everyone can steal if they want to just introduce the hardware. And if you want to, and if you want to introduce an application that's just for your class, this is a good way to. You can say we're gonna instead of Google Earth, we're gonna use da 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 da. Okay. You know. Yeah, 
Yeah, look at the swipes. You have about 10 more seconds, and then we'll come back as a class. Yeah. Yeah, you're <laughs> no, it's okay, because since we're all faculty, we'll kind of chime in. Liz, do you want to participate? Okay. Then I'll bring the group together. You guys are very good preview readers. Good job. Good job. All right, people. Yeah, we've all learned our lessons. It, it really is working, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I need one of those on on course chimes. Ding 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 ding. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, great job in your discussion. I didn't give you very much time. That is okay. We can talk about this later. Uh, let's take a look at your worksheet. Um, Ruby, in this one right here, it's the very front. Can you read number one? Great. Judy, can you read number two? Uh, open the Google Earth and locate the house where uh, you grew up in. Is there a street level view? Demonstrate to your instructor swipe, rotate, and pinch to your... Tony, can you read number three, please? What is the future of touch screen technology? Open the Google application and type touch screen technology feature. What did you find? Okay. So this is what we're going to do today. Okay? These three questions. So first, if you haven't already, I'd like you to open your iPad. Now, since you just read the instructions, I'll give you a demo. This right here is the on button. Click it on. <laughs> there is an on. Now, you just read it, right? What did you find? The on button is actually at the top. This is the on off. And if it's sleeping, you ought to wake it up. So you click. You swipe. And the code here is 8417. So if you haven't already done that, you type in. Great. <laughs> so I'm going to have you go to your main menu. And I want you to locate the Google Earth application. You should all, yeah, you should have them on this if you don't have it, Tony. <laughs> And I can help you. Swiping looks like this. Looks like you have chemistry. So, Stu, these do not have Google Earth. Some of them don't. A Google folder? Great. Thank you. And then you tap on Google Earth. Excellent. Great. So you should have a uh, planet. Planet Earth? Okay. So if I could have your attention before we move on, I'm just going to demonstrate those gestures. Um, so we said, let's go to the house you grew up in. And I'm going to change that for our group. And I think we're going to go to an exotic location. That's a little bit more fun. So I'm taking us to the road to Hana in Maui. Okay. So this is why I don't hand out the iPads until I'm done with the lesson, is because I need you to listen to my instructions. Okay? So the first thing I'm going to demonstrate, this is swipe. And we did that as a group. You can go back and forth to swipe. Okay? Now I want you to take your two fingers, put it in the middle of your touch screen, and rotate. This is the rotate function. And you can rotate your whole planet. You're doing that, Tony. Good job. Excellent. Good. And now we're going to do a pinch to zoom. <laughs> you simply take two fingers and you zoom in. You can do the opposite and zoom out. I can zoom out all the way back to Earth. Okay. The 
The last thing I'm going to show you, I, I, once again, I call it flying. It's where you take your two fingers and you just move up this way and you get an aerial view. So it starts to look like you can see the mountains and the layout. It's hard for me to show you from, from here. Do you see that? Yeah, pinch it down. Let me go to a coastline for you because we want to see black sand beaches. Well, I just no. took us on the road. Oh, sorry. This coastline is very blurry. This is the road to Hana. Okay. It'll zoom in eventually. Where are you looking at? Mm. What is that? See how I have the sky view now? It's hard to do upside down. <laughs> I'm on Maui. So I'm going to bring us together as a class once again. <clears throat> if I could have your attention. and I want you to go to the home screen. And the way you do that is you just press the button here. Oh, sorry, this button down at the bottom. That's your home screen. And I want you to go to Google, not Google Earth, but just Google. And the instructions say, um, type touchscreen technology future and tell me what you found. And if it says Google would like to uh, see your location, then say okay. So, do you want to, for the sake of time, let's share a little bit. What did you find when you researched touchscreen future? Anything you want to share, the group? Tony's time, looking. Yeah, there's a timeline here that listed <coughs> uses of touchscreens, and one was in 1971. There was a Play-Doh 4 becomes one of the first generalized computer-assisted instruction systems. It's the first touch screen to be used in a classroom in 1971. Uh, yeah, I used it. Thank you, Tony. <laughs> Were you using it as a student or as a teacher? Yeah, as a student. Okay, yeah, yeah. all right. In 83? <laughs> was yeah. a four-year-old? <laughs> <laughs> Studying <laughs> chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it was, it was, um, but it was, it was Plato. It was a, a touchscreen technology for, for chemistry. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. If you think that there is an application that you can use in your classroom for your particular course, this is something you could steal this if you want to use it or adapt it. It's yours. Um, I have it online so I can send it to you. And I love it when people take my stuff and cut it up and use it for your class. So what questions do you have about learning gestures? Good. You'll get an A+. Plus. <laughs> Yay. So take the rest of this time and play. And then I think, Stu, did you have some stuff on the agenda? <laughs> Great. Thank you, Thank you yeah. class. I hope you had fun. It is interesting looking at the future here. Yeah. <laughs>